hear me before. Hello, YouTube. We're about to do ourselves an unboxing. <sighs> The All Powers Solar Battery Unboxing. Okay, so I'm about to unbox this bad boy right here. And oh, it has an XT60 input, like my EcoFlow. Okay, so this is the third solar battery I got. I do want to give a shout out to FedEx. You're awesome. UPS, you suck. Sent my package to the wrong place, which makes no sense because it wasn't even an address that they even got sent to, but whatever. So yeah, I got me another solar battery. And I know a lot of people are like, why are you getting another solar battery? Well, because um, for those who live in the Midwest, um, you have a storm coming your way. Um, me, I've had to deal with several hurricanes with no power. I'm not going through that again. So I got myself here another solar battery. Doesn't include any pay promotions or anything. I, I use my money for all this stuff. So you can get some real unbiased uh, reviews. I've heard good things about this. I've heard bad things about this. But we're about to go ahead and, you know, unbox this mug and see what is happening. So a little bit of background. This is, uh, I got, the first one I got is the Jackery 1000 version 1, not the Pro. Version 1 charges slower than a moving snail on a hot day summer's eve, okay? That thing only 145 watts. It takes seven hours just to charge from zero to 80, and then 10 hours just to charge full. What's the point of me having a solar battery if it's gonna take 10 hours to freaking charge? So then I end up buying the EcoFlow, which charges dramatically fast and has double the capacity. So for double the capacity, it charges at a uh It charges at least if I'm doing fast, 1800 watts. If I'm doing slow, it can be anywhere from between 200 up to 1800 watts. But that's if I take it off the fast charge set. Um, I give you a review on that, give you some more details. But like I said, I've heard some good things about this. I heard some bad things about this. I'm going to unbox this and the solar panel that came with it, which is basically the size of a crib. Okay, it's basically the size of a small bed. They weren't playing with the solar panel. Th that mug is about an inch thick and it's huge. It's about the size of a table, basically. So that's good. So that solar panel is going to be not a new table. But it's a 400 watt solar panel. I've seen plenty of people use the solar panel. I've seen reviews on uh, 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 um, Amazon. And they said they get anywhere from 270 to 380 watts. One guy said on the uh, over, uh, overcast day he was getting like 200 and something watts on there so that's pro that's the reason why i got it because let's be honest let's face it i got tired of not having enough charge especially on overcast days so i figured bigger solar panels it at least give me more you know wattage as far as intake goes. but that's why i got this bad boy right here now on amazon they got it for 30 percent off for some odd reason, I don't even remember how this happened. It was a deal that gave me an extra, I, I don't know if I got it through an affiliate link or not. I think it was affiliate link. Oh my gosh, who's that? Reway. Re oh man, Re I think it's Reray, something like that. Uh, YouTube guy who had this. Anyways, I seen him with it. He he got it, uh, I think he said it was like certain percentage off. Um, Amazon got it right now for 30% off, but I got an extra 25 on top of the 30% off which took almost a thousand dollars off of this bad boy. I think it was like $899 off of this and the solar panel, okay? So I only paid like 900 or something for this and the solar panel. Imagine that, a 400 watt portable solar panel, right? That originally cost about 600 some dollars and a battery that originally cost, hmm, I think it was like 13.99 or something like that. But on Amazon, if you get them together, the total comes up to, and you will see that on the somewhere on the screen right there, nineteen hundred and ninety-nine dollars, ladies and gentlemen. I got I only paid nine hundred forty-nine dollars, so I got about a thousand dollars. No, about ten fifty off. So do that. I think his name is Reray Productions. He he got uh some some YouTube channel. I'm sorry, I will look it up, but go ahead and check that out. Let's go ahead and unbox, okay? I know you're tired of me talking. I'll talk too much. Let's go ahead and unbox. Now while I'm opening. Okay, so look what we got there. 
Okay. 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 <laughs> so this is nice. Okay. I will say this though. Compared to my UPS box that actually looks like crap because it seemed like they just threw my items around. FedEx brought this in the it's it's really good. Um, I like this on here. Here's the specifications. I don't even know if you can read them. Uh, oh, wow. Well, I'm ashy. Okay. So, that says... Might put some lotion on real quick. That says uh, lithium-ion battery. It's not a life po. I'm not seeing... It's just lithium-ion, so it might be nickel cadmium. I, uh, I have to double-check on that. Um, 1,500 watt-hours, which... By the way, from what I heard, you, you won't get anywhere near that. But that's okay. I mean, for the sale, it's still worth it. Um, so don't everybody say full price buyer, but it's on sale. Uh, capacity. Uh, okay, so the input is a total of 400 watts max on AC. And then with the XT60 solar panel, 500 watt input max. You can charge this bad boy on a good sunny day in like four hours. Uh, AC is probably going to take you four and a half hours. Uh, that's still not bad. That's still better than the Jackery 10 hours. Which, by the way, they brought out the Pro and basically all they did with the Pro was just made their import ports exclusive and finally increased the charging rate. That's that's basically the biggest deal. Oh, yeah. And gave it a color LCD screen. That, that's literally the only difference. Um, AC out. It can continuously put out 2,000 watts. Continuous. The 4,000 watt surge. Uh, 13 volts, 10 amps on the carport. Please don't pull that much out your carport. I have a feeling you're going to mess up your alternator like I did mine. Um, USB. 100 watt max on them high power USBs. But, okay, you can read the rest of that later. Let's continue taking this out. Okay. Man, I'm, I'm, oh, fill up a sec. All right, I'm back. I was getting a little bit too ashy. Uh, okay, so what we have here is charge me now. What? Before you read any further, please charge it to 100. We're going to read it anyways. We're just doing an unboxing. I'm going to charge that bad boy up. Uh, quick start guy. Let's set up for the first time. So we got AC power. Please fully charge. We know that. Stop t Stop repeating the same stuff. You repeat yourself. Welcome to the power of life. I think the power of life is more than 2,000 continuous watts. But that's just me. Okay. So here's the warranty card. Um, you can go to the website right there to activate your warranty if you want to. Um, from what I can tell, I think it's a 24-month warranty. Two years from the date of receipt warranty now a lot of these people give out good warranties and stuff like that yay but it's garbage it's trash customer service so i don't know about them but uh i know they did they was very prompt in telling me that the package is, is going to be split it's going the, the order is going to be split in two different packages like i ordered from amazon and i will say that they were planning to get here thursday when the snowstorm hits but fedex and UPS was like, forget that. We're not driving on a snowstorm. So they sent it to me a day early, which is today. Um, FedEx actually sent it to my location. UPS, don't know why, decided to send it down the street. Um, even after the people told them it's not even the right address. So thankfully, those people called me and said, hey, um, we got your package. I went down there, promptly got it, and had to walk it all the way back. Okay, so, oh my God. Wow, that's that new car smell. <laughs> Yeah, look at that. Look at that bad boy right there. Dang, that mug is super clean. This ain't no you. This not even a scratch on. You know how you begin some of those units and they be having scratches on there. This don't have a scratch on it. That that lets you know that the unit is used. It's not brand new. But let, let's keep going. Let's keep opening stuff. Uh, let's pull this bad boy out. Let's pull this. Oh, here's the case right there. And I know this ain't what I think that is. Bro, I didn't even know that come with that. I didn't know they come with that, bro. Unfortunately, I thought I was getting a pro version. Uh, okay, that looks a little like somebody tried to take that off here. But it don't have any scratches or blemishes on it. There are no scratches, no blemishes on here. As you look at the product, an AC charger port on the back. Okay. And then... 
it has the fans on the side. So you're looking at the fans on the side. And overall, it looks good. Okay. So let's zoom. I don't know why these are upside down. I, I, I noticed that when I before I even ordered it. Oh, let me get it good. So it won't fall off on me. Man, this that this, it looked like uh this is like ABS plastic. Yep, ABS plastic. Don't worry, I didn't hit it that hard. Okay, so let's see. We got four AC outlets that are upside down for some reason. Um, this was for the all powers upgrade certification. Now, this is the spot where I think on the pro version, you have the RV uh, plug slot. So um, right here, that's where your XT60 uh, port is. These are the buttons to turn on the different things. This thing got Bluetooth. It got Bluetooth like my uh, EcoFlow. Okay, so that's to turn on the Bluetooth. This is to turn on AC. That's to turn on DC. Um, you got your 100 watt Type C connectors right there. Uh, you got your USB. All the, all those look like fast charge USB. Yeah, they're all fast charge. Got your DC right there. Like I said, we just doing an unboxing right now, fam. Oh man, dude, I'm telling y'all, y'all need to look, my peoples. And I'm talking about all peoples in this country, not just black people. Um, Y'all need to start investing in the solar batteries. Um, I looked at another YouTuber. He got like 12 solar batteries. I'm not getting that many. But let's see what this is. I know this ain't what I think it is. So not only did I get $1,050 off on there, $1,050 off on this and the solar panel, which I'm about to show the solar panel next. But it looks like they gave me a bag. Bro, is that what I think it is? That's the bag to put it in. What? What? That's the, this is the bag to put it in, bro. Look at that. <laughs> All powers. <laughs> um, yeah, that's, that's Super McFly, fam. Oh, wow. Look, it got that on the bottom. Was that leather? Oh, that's pleather. Uh, it got the pleather on the bottom. Oh, man. Can that? I don't think that. Is that wide enough to even fit that in there? Is that wide enough? I guess. I don't, it don't look like it's wide or high enough. Well, it's free anyways. What, what, what? Oh, okay. I see how, how they got it. it. It latches over that. Okay, what's the... I guess it is I guess it's to protect it, which is a good thing because you you want to protect it against elements. Alright, let's see what they got in here. I love this uh, this unboxing stuff. Okay. Um so we got the AC cord, which I'm about to put that bad boy in the wall right quick. Really don't have to read instructions as far as like charging, but the Let's, let's read these instructions real quick. Let's see. Yeah. 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 Okay. So, portable power station. Uh, never disassemble. Please don't disassemble if you don't know what you're doing. I've seen people on YouTube disassemble solar batteries like they, it was nothing. Like they disassembled like he was nothing. Um, I had to disassemble a solar battery in order to fix it. It was a rock piles. It stopped charging and caught on fire. But the reason why it caught on fire because the AC charging part thing of it burnt out. But I went ahead and fixed it. Okay. They don't. Even, they don't even. They they don't even list the other stuff they they put in here. They just got just those two. Okay. What should we do? Well, we know that on the generator. This describes the screen on there, which you're about to see once I plug it up. I'm just seeing is there anything I need to do before. Oh yeah, you can do that right there for those who got the QR reader scanners on their phone. So you can download the app. Uh, 
Yep, it got the app right there. Uh, I don't know if it's as intuitive as warm tips. The annual AC inputs would need to ensure the battery never dropped below 10%, no lower than 5%. For so, uh, yeah, let's see what else they got in here. Okay, they got the car charger, which I will never use since now I got to buy a new alternator. And they got the solar charger. I thought it would be thicker than this, but okay. Silicone rubber. The same thing they make sex dolls out of. Okay, so we're going to put that in there. Okay, I think we're good to go ahead and plug this up. So I'm going to plug it up. Let it get some charge in. It's only 400 watts, but now it's only saying 315 watts going in. Don't know why, but okay. I don't know if you can see that. But it's only showing 315 watts going in. I don't know why. Um, I doubt it should take 193 hours to uh, charge. Yeah, I doubt that. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and let this charge the full. Um, that's going to take a while. Ah, okay. Now, let's unbox. Oh, man, that got a... That really do got a new car smell to it. What the hell? New plastic smell or something. Okay, so let's... Ladies and gentlemen... Alrighty then. Are you ready? Yeah. G5, hand me the solar panel. Okay, so this. Okay. So, even though the box from UPS itself looks like crap. At least it was placed in another box. But this mother freaker right here. Oh crap. Hold up. Gotta stand up for this one. Gotta use them. Gotta use my muscles. Okay. This is the solar panel. It's a, uh, that's not, that should be, yeah, that should be strapped in there more than that. Okay, let's pull these, tighten these up. Okay. So it's about an inch thick. As you can see, let's lay this down, like, dang. Okay. Bro, we're, we're definitely throwing you outside when I get done. Oh my goodness. Ugh. Okay. Well, I thought it'd be bigger than that. So, it's not that bad. The box looked like the size of a table, but it's not that bad. It's not that bad. Okay. So, this is the... Oh my goodness. Ugh. This is the portable freaking solar panel. This thing is taller than my niece. Oh, wow. Okay, so these, which, by the way, and I'm glad they did this, is one of the first solar panels that actually has these on every single panel. There's five panels. Each of these panels have their own individual kickstand. One thing I hate about the other solar panels, I have a 100 watt solar panel with four panels, with four, you know, separate panels. One thing I hate about those is that they give you two kickstands for four panels and you can never set it like you want it to get that angle for that maximum sunlight. This bad boy right here does it. Now, this one I will say you can use with your EcoFlow because I think EcoFlow has like a very high voltage requirement before it even reads anything. Um, 37 points. This thing will work out on its own, fam. No, nah, we gonna have to. We gonna have to. Uh, we gotta take that cam this camera angle down. Okay. So as you can see, it's a, uh, a solar panel. 
is uh hold on i got just this motherfucker okay there we go so the solar panel as you can see is uh 37.4 volts 400 watts uh hopefully you can see that now the peak power is 400 watts some people said the closest they got is like 387 389 most solar panels you're not going to get the full especially out of these folding solar panels you're not going to get exactly 400 watts okay um so they need to stop putting that shit but anyways short circuit current 11.45 amps i don't know what, what i was saying kind of dyslexic uh maximum power voltage 37.4 volts maximum power current is 10.6 amps and it says the efficiency rate is anywhere between 19 and 22 don't pay attention to that. I feel like that's just some type of advertisement gimmick. It says how to use. Place the solar panel under strong sunlight. No shit. Uh, angle solar panels towards sunlight. Vertical direction. No shit. Uh, do not cover the solar panels. No shit. Okay. So I'm guessing it can't be out in the rain. Uh, um, but as long as it's out in the sunlight... Uh, I don't think these are waterproof. Let's see what's inside here. Okay, so what do we got? Okay, yeah, this is definitely, definitely, I don't think it's waterproof, but it got just straight connectors. It don't have a junction box, so that's kind of good. That's kind of awesome, but got your connectors, got your book. There's the five panels I was telling you about. Each of those individual panels uh, are is about, I think, 75 watts. Yeah. So you got five 75 watt panels. Um, and then, uh, for those of you, I just figured it out by using basic math: 75, 75, 75, 75, 325, and then plus another 75 is 400. Um, 75. Okay, so again, have these connectors. Man, I got a lot of connectors. And then you have these bad boys. Oh, wow. Let you hook it up to a Jackery. Okay, okay. I don't feel like taking out opening. Hopefully, you can see it. But it has the. That cable right there with the adapter and you can just hook it straight up to a jackery if you need it to okay oh man i love this thing already wow it's a big ass solar panel though it's like what the fuck? okay and it has a handle um some people say it's a really strong handle i've heard other people complain about the handle and basically say it's garbage that their handle broke uh, maybe they got an earlier version uh I'm, I'm hoping this is strong. It looks like it's strong. Um, this gigantic. Oh. oh, man. Oh, freak. Man, you can use that as a shield. Dude, with that solar panel alone and it being portable, you get two of those, you're good. You're good anywhere off the grid. Even on a, a cloudy day, you'll probably be good. Cloudy day, you'll at least be pulling in with two of those panels, at least two to 300 watts out of 800. Um, because I know with the solar panels I got from Harbor Freight, I know it's a different type of solar panel. But with those, on a cloudy day, I at least get like 50 to 60 watts on a cloudy day. Sometimes I can get like 70 or 80 on a cloudy day. And those are 200 watt solar panels. So that's not... That's not bad, but uh, yeah, that's why I wanted to get something like this so I can at least, at least get a consistency of at least a hundred watts even on a cloudy day. But yeah, my Jackery, I'm getting rid of that thing. Um, sell it to somebody. All right then, so that was the unboxing for that. Okay, and I will in the future do a review after I test this thing out. But next up. Review we about to do is the one on my EcoFlow. So I do want to thank y'all for taking the time to watch this video. I want to thank all my new subscribers. I really appreciate y'all. I want to thank people who do comment on my videos. I want to thank whether the comment is um, 
positive or negative, whether it's supportive or not, or anything like that, as long as it's not an ignorant comment, then, you know what I'm saying, I, I, I thank y'all for, you know, sending me those comments, but, uh, and for subscribing and for watching my videos, uh, so I do want to thank y'all for that, hopefully I can start doing more of these, like I said, I want to start doing some more of these for y'all, because I know I need to put out more of this content so y'all can check it out. And I do want to, I really, really do want to thank y'all for subscribing and coming and watching my channel and stuff like that. So, I, I want I want to say this, family, get y'all into investing in stuff like that. Stop buying two, three hundred dollar shoes. Shoes is not going to save your life, okay? Not going to save the world. But this right here will help you in a power outage. That right there will help keep it charged during a power outage. So invest in stuff that we need, especially since the government's trying to take everybody's money from them. You know, spend the money you got and get everything you need so you can live off the grid if you got to, because it's gonna come to that day. All right, man, I wanna thank y'all. Hold on, I gotta check, gotta check this out over here. There we go, there we go. Oh yeah, let's look at this real quick before we go. Let's look at this, okay. Okay, okay. So there's the unit right there. Okay, so that unit right there. And basically it's showing that 2,000 higher wattage, 1,500 watt large capacity. Um, this right here gives you an estimate of how long it can last with these items using that amount of wattage that they use induction cooker two hours you're not going to be able to use no induction cooker for two hours with a 1500 watt capacity maybe an hour and a half they need to quit um microwave oven electric lamp rice cooker and all that bad boy stuff okay stop with the 12 to 14 kilometers you could probably only get an extra four maybe three miles charging with that they need to quit uh, electric saw one and a half hour. Oh, yeah, that'd be good because I do have an electric saw uh, Sump pump two and a half hours a car refrigerator 25 hours So let me get this straight it can only run a car refrigerator using 65 watts for 25 hours But I'm supposed to believe that it can run a thousand watt microwave oven for at least two of those hours Math don't seem right. Okay, so Of a 1500 watt capacity. Okay, so here check battery level power in and out and you can turn it on and off um it don't look as specifically detailed like the um eco flow where you can actually turn on and off the individual uh ports on that bad boy okay fully charged in 1.6 hours ac plus solar charge 900 watt max what hmm it did not know that okay it didn't even mention that in the book uh four hours ac wall adapter use well actually four and a half hours okay they need fucking false advertising okay three hours of oh, solar charge that sounds about accurate uh i don't what are them blue eddy panels Man, y'all could at least put your own panels on there I wouldn't charge it by I would keep it maintained with the car battery but most I mean with the car but most of those uh, um, alternators can do anywhere between 170 to 200 watts 220 watts depending on the vehicle that you got you got to get get you an upgraded alternator you probably be good um, polycrystalline silicon now monocrystalline is better in the shade and in darker uh, light I will say that um, but polycrystalline um, it, it's supposed to be better it's supposed to be cheaper I know that it's it's a lot cheaper that mug does weigh I wouldn't say it weigh 40 pounds maybe 30 pounds it feels like it weighs um, IP67 water resistant which means it should be able to withstand moderate to a little heavy rain uh, let's see here says mc4 can output more current than dc uh, uh, yeah okay um 
cable storage bag of course all of them got that and here you go the infamous stands on this mug each one has its own kickstand yes makes it more much to do with i've seen a lot of people on youtube videos who put that solar panel up in like a minute and took it down in like 30 seconds so take you a minute and 30 seconds to put it up and tear it back down okay you can also do uh hmm okay i mean I, mean, I, I would think those other two would need to connect together, but okay. Um, look like you can do it in series if you want to, but also in parallel as well. So it says parallel solar panels charging your portable power station in a faster way. But it depends on basically what type of, you know, Hold on. Okay, I can tell you one thing I don't like already is this noise. Yeah, I really don't like that. That must sound like a car alarm was going off. But anyways, so yeah. Okay, so right now what you can do is if you go on there now, and and for those who got the Capital One thing, um. You can get 30% off. Okay. Let's look at the terms here. So coupon is available for this offer. So you can save 30% with the S2000 along with the 400 watt solar panels. If you get that, end up getting that deal. But you can also, it looks like they got more coupons here. When, when is that deal supposed to expire? I'm going to go ahead and let y'all check that out. Let's see here. Let's check out some more coupons real quick. Oh, no, that, that's some other stuff. But anyways, yeah, you can definitely 30% off. That'll take a good chunk of change off of there. Just think, 10% off is $199, okay? Think about 30% off. You're getting close to almost $600 off already, which takes this down to around 13 and some something and some change. And then if you can find that 25% deal, you're getting even more off than that. So, like I said, you know, go ahead and tr check that out. Now, I do want to thank y'all for uh, checking out my channel. Um, and, yeah, y'all have a good one. Oh, wow, this is a long unboxing. Let me go ahead and just close this out because... What the hell? What's up with my mouse? Alright. Be safe. For a smack you in the face. Alright then.